sharp-eyed predators are everywhere. So potential prey like moths lie low. Their ancestors millions of years ago were active by day, but as birds multiplied, moths fled to the night. For millions of years, moths had the night skies to themselves, and they filled them. But around 50 million years ago, one of the greatest arms races of all time began. The ancestors of bats were small mammals which pounced on insects. Flying was a ticket to the vast larder of moths that filled the night skies. But how could they find small, fast-moving prey without sunlight? Bats use their ears. They emit high-intensity pulses of sound. Then listen for echoes bouncing back. Their brains process these reflections into a three-dimensional image, an accurate picture of their dark world. Slowing down picture and sound gives a clearer view of each encounter. This sonar is a brilliant weapon for finding prey in the dark, making bats successful around the world. Bats, though, didn't have it all their own way for long. Moths evolved a counterweapon, a simple ear that could detect approaching sonar. An early warning allows the moth to swerve away. As bats approach, they increase their calling rate. For moths, an emergency cue to plummet. Though not always to safety. Many bats are superb fishermen. It's even possible that hunting over water has become a deliberate ploy to snare diving moths. As insects became better at detecting sonar, bats required a countermeasure. In a shadowy corner, a strange creature is stirring. Long-eared bats have defeated the insect ear by improving their own hearing. Instead of hunting by sonar, they use their outrageously large ears to listen for the sounds of insects. Even the tiny beat of moth wings can be filtered out from the sound of rushing water. The bats still use sonar to avoid branches, but as they approach their prey, they switch that off and enter stealth mode. Now, the bat steers entirely by the wing beats of its prey but the system isn't perfect. This bat approaches from the wrong side. It can hear the moth, but through the leaf. A lucky escape for the moth. Although the bat's hearing is superb, the method has yet another flaw. If the moth stays still, the bat can't locate it. By maintaining silence, 
the moth is perfectly safe. The hunter is forced to give up. But sooner or later, the moth must move, revealing its presence. Bats have kept pace with their prey's attempts to evade them, and today, the night skies are full of specialized moth killers. To avoid them, some moths are taking the ultimate evasive action. In Venezuela, moths are escaping the night. Active by day, the Joshia moth can avoid bats completely, but instead it must face the birds. This brings the war full circle. Birds are probably the predators that drove moths to the night in the first place. But the moths return to the day with a new trick. Distasteful chemicals advertised with brilliant colors. The Joshia still has remnants of the ears that once warned it of approaching bats, but they are of no use against a sharp eye. Spit out, the moth may even escape with its life. But the bird has learned a lesson. Most predators learn quickly to associate colors with danger, resulting in a world of brilliantly patterned prey.